Now at eight, large plumes of smoke catching the attention of people throughout the East Bay this evening. A fire broke out in the Oakland Hills and spread to three homes on Aitken Drive. Thanks for joining us tonight at 8. I'm Ken Wayne. I'm Pam Moore. Nobody was injured in today's fire, but it certainly had a lot of people nervous in a neighborhood which was once destroyed by a firestorm that happened in the early 1990s. Ground Force Dan Thorne joins us live from the Oakland Hills tonight with the very latest. Dan. Yeah, Pam, you said it. A lot of urgency here today as the flames first broke out this afternoon around 4 o'clock. But the urgency seems to have dissipated as the night has fallen here. We do know from Oakland firefighters that at least three homes were involved in today's large fire. We have also learned that the initial house where this fire first broke out has actually collapsed this afternoon. Smoke filling the neighborhood here and also the area. It could be, it could be seen for miles. Firefighters uh, were on scene very quickly, at least 50 of them at the height of this fire. Um, we know that it's a huge concern here in the Oakland Hills. These fires can spread very rapidly. Nearby eucalyptus trees also pres uh, present a fire hazard here in the area. Uh, thankfully, there is a fire station less than a mile away from this neighborhood, so crews were able to get on it very quickly. We actually heard from one of the people who says that they actually escaped from one of those homes that went up in flames. Take a listen. I just hear like yelling, right? And I come up and uh, like the front, the balcony is just on fire. It's like coming out. It's crazy too already. Like it, it like started and was going. Fire officials say there were no injuries to report and they rescued one pet from one of the three homes. The fire chief says that this initially started in the back porch of one of those houses and then spread to two neighboring homes. It has been ruled accidental in nature, but the cause is still being investigated. The fire chief says that he is thankful for the amount of rain that we have seen over the past couple of weeks, but also says that the proximity of this fire station, again, less than a mile away from this neighborhood, was the biggest contributing factor for them to be able to get a handle on this very quick, quickly and able to make sure that there was no other further losses. 30 firefighters are remaining on scene right now, and a number of them are expected to be here throughout the night in case there are any hot spots that end up popping up. Pam and Ken. Dan, we know that in situations like this, the, wind is, the winds are always an issue. Earlier today, Lawrence was telling us things weren't so bad. How are they tonight? Yeah, that, that did not appear to be too much of an issue here. We did also hear from uh, some neighbors off camera that said, thank goodness the wind did not end up being a, a factor at all in today's fire. Uh, of course, right now we're dealing with virtually the, the same sort of wind conditions that we were dealing with um, earlier. I'm sure cr fire crews are very thankful for that because, uh, as you know, that firestorm that swept through here back in the 90s, uh, the biggest contributor to that spreading so quickly was, of, of course, the wind, but thankfully not a big problem out here today or tonight. Dan Thorne live for us in the Oakland Hills. Dan, thank you.